Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. Okay, we are going to Asheville today, so I wanted to check in with you guys before we get on the road, and this is going to be a long drive. I have a secret planned. Dominic and I are going to go to an apple orchard to get cinnamon, um, or cinnamon, <laughs> to get apple cider donuts. He has no idea. Oh, he's coming in now. Hopefully he didn't hear me say that. That would be terrible. I would have ruined the whole surprise. Could you hear me? Okay, good. Um, so we're going to do that first. And I just wanted to let you guys know, keep you posted. We're getting on the road now. And we will see you guys in about three hours, probably longer, but about three hours. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is later on now and we are about an hour and a half from where the apple orchard is. So I'm so pumped. He's going to be so excited. You guys, oh my gosh, I forgot to take video of this. We actually, okay, so we looked up checkers along the route because Dominic thought that I was bringing him to checkers because I told him that we were going to some like food place. I didn't tell him where obviously, but his guess was checkers. Also, I apologize for my hair being crazy, but I literally didn't do anything to it this morning I rolled out of bed and this is how we work but um, he anyway he thought we were going to checkers and so I put checkers in along our route when we were literally at home still and we have a checkers 15 minutes from us you guys literally 15 minutes from where we live and we had no idea that it was 15 minutes from where we live so we ended up going there for lunch. It wasn't like a good experience, honestly. The checkers was like not tasty the way that checkers normally is, but it was okay. And it was exciting to know that there's a checkers right there because you guys know whenever I go out of town, I always like try to stop wherever I'm at and go to the checkers if there's a checkers in that area. I guess we just never looked up if there's a checkers where we live. I don't know why we wouldn't, but I think we just assumed there wasn't a checkers. But there's a checkers, so that's very exciting for us. But we are still on our way. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to die right now when you see Dominic. He grabbed a mask from Sheets because he didn't have his mask on him. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. I gave him a bright pink mask. Hey. Looking fresh, baby. <laughs> they didn't have any other options. Would you rather go in that one? No, I don't. Okay. I actually like the mask. I have never seen them like that. Mm. The pink disposable ones. Mm. But anyway, yeah, we... They gave me a, a color option on like pink Devo. <laughs> I mean, have you seen a pink disposable mask? Yes. You have? Yeah, it sheets. Right before they gave me one. That's crazy. But anyway, we are on our route and I will see you guys when we get there. And it will be very exciting for Dominic. Hey guys, so we got to the apple orchard and Dominic was shocked. He had no idea. I really thought he was going to know because we're in the country. Like there's literally no restaurants here. There was no way that we were actually going to a restaurant, but he had no idea until we saw the sign that said it was for the apple orchard and he got so excited and he thought we were going apple picking, but we're not allowed to bring Sunday to this orchard. There is another apple orchard in Asheville, like about, it's like 30 minutes south of Asheville so we might end up going to that if he wants to do that but I don't really think he cares to go apple picking as long as we got the apple cider donuts but it sucked because we couldn't both go in together he had to go in by himself I mean he would have let me go in too if I wanted to but you know your girl was fine sitting in here he brought out a bunch of these apple cider donuts he literally bought us like 20 of them I'll show you guys in a second um but I'm so excited they smell so good and then he just went back in because he said there is gala it's he'll tell you guys I don't remember what it is there's like a mixture of two types of apples formed into one apple that we've never heard of so he is buying us a bag of those just because like why not we might as well try them if we're here so he's doing that and we're gonna have our apple cider donuts actually let me just show you guys really quick they smell amazing I'm so pumped and they look just like they do where we live up north or where we lived up north they're like a little bigger honestly but they look so good and then he also got us a second bin of them and they um are glazed half of them are glazed which we've never had glazed ones before so i'm pumped if you never had an apple cider donut it's like a must if you've never had one the only thing is 
I'm not even going to tell you because my mom ruined apple cider donuts for me because she told me something that I will never forget. And it's the same with apple cider. And so now whenever I have apple cider donuts, I think of this thing and it's difficult for me to enjoy them, which sucks because they smell so good. But he also got us a big thing of apple cider as well that we're going to enjoy once we get to the Airbnb. I'm so happy. I just feel bad that I couldn't go in with him, but it is what it is. He seems very happy and he's okay with me, like that I wasn't able to. Anyway, that's what's going on. And oh, here he comes. He's coming with the apples right now. Oh, let's see these bad boys. Holy shit. <laughs> I told oh my you. gosh. <laughs> these are massive. What are they again? Because I didn't know. Evercrisp. Evercrisp? It's a Honeycrisp and Fuji. Say that again. It's a Honeycrisp and Fuji hybrid. Oh but they my started gosh. planning here. They look good. Do I you got wanna... a picture too. You, so that can way you we... have one? Are you able to? Uh. Because he can't have, he's allergic to apples, but you'll try it. I'm, I'm sure. allergic to like raw apples. But we'll try it when um, we get to the Airbnb anyway. They're massive. Yeah, these are giant. Like, I mean, I, holy I'm, cow. I'm I've never seen an one. apple that big. I tried telling her that and she just looked at me like I was crazy. Are you serious? All of their apples are that big. What? They aren't this big one up north where we're from. They had something called like a Johnna Gold. They had a, um, How do they how do they do that? A Rome Hybrid apple. apples. They basically like cross pollinate. Like I do on Animal Crossing? Yeah. Just like <laughs> Animal Crossing. That's exactly <laughs> it, baby. They also pick up the full, the whole tree and they throw it in their bag. For sure. You can cross pollinate on Animal Crossing if you guys didn't know. You can cross pollinate your flowers. But you can also get attacked by a spider and somehow get like a swollen face. Yes, because they bite you, they attack you. Mm. It happened to you in real life before. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a swollen face. Well over here you got a little spider bite. Well that's a different conversation. Um but anyway, we're gonna eat these apples and then we're gonna head back on the road because we only have like an hour left, but we're both really tired, so we didn't knock it very much sleep last night. Nah. So, up at seven. So yeah, it was a good look. it was quite the day. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It has been a hot minute. So it's actually not morning here anymore. It is 3 p.m. and we just hit up the biscuit place that we go, Biscuit Head in Asheville. It's so delicious. I'm just putting my makeup on right now. Sorry, you guys, but I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. And we are at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna run in there in a minute. Dominic just went in to pee and then I am going to meet him in there. We're gonna do just a little bit of shopping and uh, I wanted to put makeup on because we're going to do a nice drive through the mountains. So I just don't know if we're gonna pull off and take pictures anywhere. I'm bummed you guys because it is not like very fall here right now at all. We definitely came too early. It was supposed to be peak leaf season here the week that we were coming, but I guess global warming, I don't know. <laughs> That's what Dominic keeps telling me, but I am annoyed about it, especially because like, it's also not really that cool here either. It feels, pretty similar to what it feels like in Raleigh right now so it is what it is we're just kind of here for a good time I guess and not for the fall leaves even though that's what I come for you know I always get excited about my fall vacation but oops I got you guys I have 50 does anybody else <laughs> I literally have one just dropped on the ground too I have so many mascaras in my bag um but yeah, so we got in late last night. Did I tell you guys about this? No, actually I actually haven't talked to you guys like at all. We got in late last night and then we ended up going to this barbecue joint down a hill. Well, down a hill, I say down a hill. The, where we're staying, you guys, it is all incline. It's honestly so scary. So we, 
pulled in last night and it's terrifying because we're in this like tiny little vehicle and it's like on a dirt road so we pull in last night and we get up the hill and i'm like okay let's just do delivery because it was super close to sunset and i was like i am not interested in us having to drive up that dirt road at nighttime so and literally we pull in the guy comes out for the airbnb to like like introduce himself or whatever and he's like it wasn't that bad see it really wasn't that bad and we're looking at each other like that was terrifying i actually thought like we lost pieces of our car as we were driving up the hill so anyway we ended up saying like we're gonna order in tonight so i reached out to the guy downstairs and i was like hey how do you do with delivery here like do people actually deliver to your house because it when i tell you that it's it is like almost impossible to get up that hill unless you have like a truck like we did it obviously but it was hard he was like yeah they don't usually deliver okay well if cars don't deliver to your house like there's probably like it's probably not a good road you know <laughs> like there's probably not it's probably not like an easy road to get up but anyway either way he said people don't really deliver you can probably do pizza hut pizza hut really does deliver out here and so we were like we're not interested in pizza hut we're gonna go back down so we went back down immediately when we first got in and we picked up some barbecue from like this barbecue place down at the bottom of the hill and it was okay it was like decent barbecue it wasn't the best barbecue ever but it was good so that was nice and then today we went and we got biscuitville this morning or biscuit head i keep calling it like all sorts of different things but we went and got biscuit head this morning and that was really good and you guys i saw a hot air balloon this morning out our window out our bedroom window and i went to take a video but i was like i, I didn't end up taking a video for you guys because i was like i'm gonna go outside and get a video of it so i went i got dressed immediately after i saw the hot air balloon and i went downstairs with sunday and the hot air balloon was nowhere to be found by the time I got downstairs so that was a bummer as well but it's still it's like beautiful the place that we're staying it's on like this most gorgeous hill I just personally wouldn't choose to stay there on the regular like if I had a choice next time we probably won't stay there the bed though is so comfortable I don't know we won't stay there because it's just it's inconvenient to have to go back and um like for instance tonight they're having some sort of like get together with some people that work at the restaurant i guess they own a restaurant and they messaged us this morning and they were like hey we're having a budget meeting is what they called it um tonight for our restaurant it starts at five i just wanted to let you know we're gonna try and not be too loud sorry you guys i'm worried about this overheating she's like we're gonna try not be too loud but i just wanted to let you know that's happening and i'm like okay that's fine but we can hear your tv like i we literally could hear their cat upstairs last night like playing so like i know we're gonna be able to hear you guys doing your budget meeting which is perfectly fine but we also have sunday so i'm worried about her being at the house when they're having their budget meeting and either going crazy like barking or just like uncomfortable like she's gonna have a lot of anxiety if she can hear them down there and we're not there so it is what it is. It's been a jaunt with this Airbnb, but it's it's still like a really good time and they haven't complained about her barking or anything, which I was really worried about because you can hear everything. Like we could hear everything. They were playing music really loud this morning. Um but it's still super comfortable and as long as they don't complain about Sunday, we're not going to be we're not going to complain about any of the stuff that we can hear because like we know, I know she's probably not very happy right now because she doesn't really like when we leave her at strange places for obvious reasons but maybe she's good who knows <laughs> but anyway we are going to get ready now well i'm getting ready right now three in the afternoon and <laughs> then we are going to just like do like a nice little drive and we're probably gonna head back to their house oh also tonight we're gonna try and sit out on uh, there's like a little porch that i think we're gonna sit at which will be really fun because Dominic said you can see all of the stars out at night. I haven't been out at night yet because we've only been here for one night. So I didn't go out at all last night. But he said the stars are like insane because it's seriously country here. And then another thing that has happened is that the bed, like I said, was insanely comfortable. Like literally, I slept like a baby. Last night, Dominic went and took a shower and I fell asleep before he was even out of the shower at 9.30 at night which is wild for me because I'm always, like, I always have to wait for him to go to sleep. But somehow, I was knocked out at 9.30. I'm pretty sure my mom is like, what is going on with her? Because I don't think I've even talked to her yet today. It's just been like, 
it's just been a lot of relaxation, but I didn't say goodnight to her or anything. That's a, that is one thing I always do. I always say goodnight to both my parents because they always text me goodnight every single night. Okay, so all done with my makeup and now I'm going to run in and pee really quick and Dominic's probably already waiting for me. I don't know, I'm at 11 minutes so I'm pretty sure he's already <laughs> waiting for me in there. So I'm gonna run in and I will talk to you guys when I get out or maybe later tonight. Hey guys, so we are back at our Airbnb now and we just ate dinner. I'm just laying on the couch right now, but we just ate dinner. We ended up getting Rocky's chicken and let me just tell you guys, it was so good. It was like amazing. We were so happy. We got four different sides, or no, we actually got five different sides, I think. Six? I think we ate all of them too, <laughs> other than the fried okra. We got six different sides. So they had like a deal where if you pay $10, you get four sides. And then our chicken sandwiches automatically came with sides. So it was, we were siding all over the place, but we wanted to try everything. So that was really, really yummy. I think I got a video clip of that. We actually ate it on our porch and while well, like the sun was setting. And the people downstairs are having their little, um, they said it's a budget meeting, but there's a lot of people here is all I have to say. <laughs> and they're having a good time, but they aren't loud or anything. They're great. But they are having a fire outside and it smells so good. So I am going to go sit back out there, but I wanted to come in and let my phone charge a bit before I go out there because my phone be dead it's at like eight percent but anyway i am going to do that tonight we're probably gonna sit out and like watch the stars and like just enjoy ourselves it's been such a like i'm just so relaxed here you guys the mountains always make me so relaxed and i'm tired i'm always so tired in the mountains too be i think it's the headache like that i get from being at high elevation that makes me tired but the chicken sandwiches were so good. I'm so happy we ended up doing that because when we came here last time, which was two years ago, we got Rocky's chicken. And then we got Rocky's chicken the time before as well. And I couldn't remember. I remembered we didn't like it the first time, but I couldn't remember if we didn't like it the second time or not. So I'm really happy we ended up getting it because it was so good. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10 Rocky's chicken. But anyway, I'm going to go out there and... Sorry if I'm whispering, by the way. I just don't want to be too loud because they're obviously doing something. Um, but, oh, I want to get a clip of that road in as well. So I'm going to hopefully be able to do that tomorrow so you guys can see how, like, bumpy it is. It's pretty crazy. But we're just very happy. Like, I feel so happy now that we sat out there. I'm just, like, so relaxed now. So that is what's happening here. I just wanted to update you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys probably in the morning, most likely after breakfast, because you know I like to get some food in me before I pick this camera up. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. <laughs> hey, darling, can I tell you what's going on? She's freezing her ass off. Literally. And she's wet. She's big man at us. <laughs> Are you tired, baby? <laughs> We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags
and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. <laughs> It's been very, very bad, you guys. So, I'm just gonna say this. And then we're gonna end the vlog here. No, the vlog uh, is not ending. <laughs> <laughs> we still have another day, baby. Uh, but in all seriousness, fuck Asheville. <laughs> no, no. How do you people live here? We love Asheville. I like the idea of Asheville. <laughs> I like the Blue Ridge Parkway. I love the mountains. I like the different scenery. I fucking hate the drivers. It's been Listen, so. I used to drive all throughout New England. I would literally take New York City over this shit. Comfortably. At least there I know what I'm getting into. Here, everybody's just an idiot. And if you're from Asheville, I'm sorry. Yeah, Unless just... you're driving while you're watching this, in which case, you're what's known as an idiot. <laughs> It's been so bad. We didn't get in a car accident or anything, you guys. Don't worry. I know that it sounds like it's been way worse than it has. But we went on the Blue Ridge Parkway, you guys. And when I tell you we were so relaxed, <laughs> we were having the best time ever on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And then, I don't know what happened. We got off the Blue Ridge Parkway and we were like so hungry because we ended up getting McDonald's breakfast. And so... I found us a burger joint because I really wanted burgers and the burger joint was 30 minutes from where we were at so we needed to get there by 3.30 Take exit 5 for US 25 Merriman For reference, what time is it right now? Baby? It's 4.30 It's 4.30 right now? It's only 4.30 Already 4.30 because when I was looking that up baby it was 2.30 and so it was 2.30 when we were looking at the place and I was like, no problem, we'll get there by, by 3 and we'll be able to get this burger lunch special by 3.30. Yeah, you're right. And we did. We actually got there about 3.05. About 3.05. And we're lazy. <laughs> and it was downtown. Sorry, you guys. We're also still driving. Um, it's downtown and... We didn't want to get out. There were so many people, you guys. We've no, never it's seen. Not that we didn't want to get out. It was over so tired. Trying yeah. to deal with the amount of traffic and festivals and people walking in the street and everything else. Like, bruh, it, it's Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, oh, it's Wednesday actually. Oops, Whatever. It's the middle of the week. And there are a million people downtown today for whatever reason. And I don't know if it's because it's peak season. But these people look like they lived here, so I feel like it's not because it's peak season. No, I think there was like a festival or something. There was a bunch of people dressed in like... Oh yeah, and they were dancing to some music. I mean, it looked like a good time. It if looked we, like it was like a Dharma celebration. If we yeah. weren't extremely hungry... I think I was extremely hungry. Were you? Because I no. feel like you weren't. He was exhausted because we had just driven through Blue Ridge. Take exit 5 for US 25 Merriman Avenue. Um... If we weren't if we weren't t tired, we probably would have really liked it. It was beautiful and it was it seemed very fun. But instead, we said we're not going to this <laughs> burger joint because too many people 
we had to find parking, pay for parking. You guys know how it is. And you know we're cheapskates. You know how I am. I'm not going to pay for parking. And so then we drive to this other burger joint that was even worse than the first burger joint. Because first of all, they were popping. They had their own ho house building, whatever. They had their own building where they should have had parking. They had parking surrounding the whole entire building, but nobody was allowed to park in it. It was like only for employees in the back of it. And then in the front of it, it had we'll tow you basically signs and nobody was parked in it. And so we said, this is fine. We're just going to drive over to Biscuit Head, park in their parking lot and place our order. Because if we ended up going to that place and parking in Biscuit Head's lot, we would have had to pay like six bucks for parking. And I'm sorry, I'm not willing to pay a whole extra meal's worth of parking to park somewhere. Why are you involved now? I'm trying to make sure okay. we don't die. <laughs> cool. So... I gotta know where to go. Especially with my phone battery. It's windy. Oh yeah, this <laughs> is the other issue too. Is both of our phones are dead. Like I'm talking, his is at like probably 4% right now. Mine's on the charger because it already shit the bed. It was dead completely. Do you need my help? No. Alright. Oh, um, like oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> this has just been a bad time, you guys. <laughs> and so, anyway, we said we're just going to park in this lot, hope nobody comes and, like, tells us we need to move, and place our order online. Well, I go to place our order online for that burger joint, because we're just going to eat it in the car at this point. We're so hungry. And we can't, there's nowhere to place it online. Can't place the order online. So, we both say, that's fine. We're going to call. Dominic calls. They put us on hold. <laughs> <laughs> they forget to hit the hold button, I think, and you just hear a bunch of like cursing and like it was a bunch of drunk people at a bar. Yeah, it was just like saying the bit, be this, be that, and all sorts of things. I forget if I swear on this. I do. I would say be right, or no, I wouldn't. Uh, we'll we'll put it. I'm too uh, tired right now. We'll we'll put it as politically correct as I can. Um, any ludicrous fans out there, move, bitch, get out the way. Yeah, that's uh, literally what she said. Yeah, actually. I know, that's yeah. What I said. And it was much funnier. But it was fun. It came on the radio. Oh, did it? Yeah, like right oh, I after didn't it. Notice. It was very funny. Well, anyway, that whole thing happened. It was fine. We didn't care that they were swearing or anything. But the guy never came back to the phone. So, <laughs> so after five minutes, we hung, hung up. up, and we are like, should we just go to cookout? And so we ended up just going to cook out. No, before that, you found another burger place. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah, the, the barbecue place yeah. you didn't want to go to. It's not that I didn't want to go there. It's that by this time, it's been another hour. And we're just... I'm, so we're going to hit rush hour in downtown. Yep. So then we ended up at cookout. So we're not proud of that decision. <laughs> And I was very upset because I should have been vlogging the whole scenario, but I was not in a good mood. I'll just say that much <laughs> because I was just so excited to actually go sit down with Dominic. Like that was my whole plan for the day. Like I was so pumped we were going to sit down somewhere and we never sat down anywhere. We sat down in the car all day. What do you yes, we did. <laughs> so now we're going to pick up our barbecue from this barbecue joint that we've been to Oh, there's a Dunkin' we went to yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Yesterday we looked for a Dunkin' and it brought us to this Dunkin' right here and there was no drive through and we just, we just don't like getting out of the car. But then we also don't like being in the car. But it, it, we had just started our day. We didn't feel like getting out of the car. We just went, oh, this is red, this is red, this is Hello. red. Hello. Oh, cool the beans. Oui. This is a good life we're living. <laughs> anyway. I was just so excited for barbecue. We didn't want to get out at the at the Dunkin', so we ended up putting a new Dunkin' in our phone <laughs> and driving another 20 minutes to a different Dunkin'. We were in a much better mood then. But that was yesterday. And I would like to get a Dunkin' before we get home tonight. Anyway, let me show you guys the barbecue place we are picking up our barbecue from. It is very delicious. It is honestly some of the best barbecue I've ever had. Dominic doesn't agree with me, but we'll see how it feels tonight. Who said I didn't agree? You said Max is better for sure. That's what you I don't me. remember that. We, what, just last night you said that. I don't remember eating here. Oh, okay. See, that's why. But he's going to go grab our food. 
He's been really rocking the pink mask. <laughs> and then we're going to go home. On Wednesdays, we wear pink, okay? <laughs> it is Wednesday. That's cute, babe. <laughs> I like the reference. I'm impressed by you right now. Who is she? No, I'm just kidding. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> including when I wore a suit. Anyway, we're getting the barbecue. We'll check back in with you guys later. But I just wanted to update you guys on our whole saga. Hey guys, I decided I want to talk to you while he's in there. I put my camera away, but then I realized I'm by myself in here because I do not have my phone because it's dead. <laughs> and he doesn't want me touching it because his phone is literally at 2% right now. So we need to use my phone to GPS our way back home. And the issue is, is we have this short cord. We have a like three inch cord. I guess it's six inches, he said. That doesn't like, I can't hold it because it's so low where my plug-in is to plug my cord in. But anyway i'm just happy we're getting our barbecue and we're not having to come back out again tonight because we're both just very tired this morning was great the, the first half of this day was amazing and i really wish i would have vlogged it because it was so great woke up this morning i actually saw hot air balloons out of our apartment i got a video of it but it was a very short clip i because they were already coming down when i saw them like i walked out the door and they were literally coming down but I will overlay it for you guys. So you can see it was beautiful. And the leaves were gorgeous on our drive today. We're just tired. <laughs> if you can't tell. We're just tired. And like tomorrow we have our four hour drive back home. And it sucks because like we're probably not going to hit the Blue Ridge again tomorrow. Just because we're, we're very tired. But maybe tomorrow we'll feel differently. Who knows. We'll see. But this morning was great. And then once we decided we were needing to go eat it all went downhill from there because I didn't have any service and normally what I would do is I would check like if each place has like parking like this place does like I'm literally parked in a lot as you would normally do but a lot of places here do not have parking like this they have like a little parking lot it's kind of like city-esque which is just weird because it doesn't really feel city-esque but I don't know the whole spiel about how he was hating on Asheville is that the drivers here it's a mess. The drivers here are a mess. <laughs> like, they will pull out in front of you no matter what. Like, you you have to be on your A game. And on top of it, they go, like, 20 above the speed limit for some reason. And I just don't understand <laughs> the whole thing about, especially with them, like, cutting in front of you and, like, pulling out of places when they can tell you're coming and, and they all think they run the road because they have bigger vehicles because we're in the mountains. So normally you would have a bigger vehicle in the mountain. But, you know, obviously we're a small car. So if they hit us, we're dead. So it's just been, it's been pretty stressful when it comes to driving. Other than when we were on the um, mountains. But he's coming right now. So I'm going to grab my food from him. Thank you, baby. How was it in there? Dead. Oh, really? It's weird. There's I just people inside. I just want to check if they gave us sauce. Did they do that? They should. Because we ordered it. Let's see. Oh my god, it's not breaking. It's not breaking. Ooh. No sauce. Maybe this is the sauce? What is this? Sauce. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. Okay, we probably want that in the back. Why? Because we don't know how long we're going to be in the car. Yeah. True. 21% is all I fucking got. It's going to be spicy. I guess we'll trade. We'll put mine on. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, we're going to... It's going to be spicy. <laughs> what? We're going to go home now. And we'll catch you guys later tonight when we're watching the sunset, probably. Show you guys how small the moon gets. It's actually really weird. So then, when you walk 
walk into the bedroom like so. Look how freaking small the moon actually is. It makes no sense. So if anybody has an explanation for this and you're smarter than we are, we would like to understand what's going on here. <laughs> So this is the road going into our Airbnb. And it doesn't seem too bad originally, but then you're going uphill on this crazy dirt road and there's all of this piping that goes along it. So like every time you go over a pipe, it scrapes the bottom of our car, which makes sense because we're driving a small car, but it's still pretty scary. <laughs> Obviously, this is a few days after we've been driving it, so I'm more You're familiar more used with to it, it now, so he knows where to go, but I'm we'll still slow down a little bit. Even though knowing where to go. Oh, that's the one that usually scrapes. So it wouldn't be too bad if it was just an incline with no, like, er, yeah, with, and it was paved. But then also you have, this is the driveway, which is also... A very steep incline. <laughs> but we made it every time. Look at there's sunlight. Watch, she's right in the window. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So it is our last morning here. Dominic and I already went out and got breakfast. We got McDonald's again just because we're just trying to be more affordable since we've been eating out so much at nighttime. Oh, by the way, the barbecue from last night i'll put it on screen for you guys it was so good so so yummy so we did barbecue last night from that place that i showed you and then we did um mcdonald's sandwiches this morning and we got our duncan already and we're back at the house now we don't have to check out till noon which is amazing because normally the checkout is usually like 10 11 if we're lucky but noon is amazing <laughs> so we are going to check out soon but i realized i haven't shown you the airbnb yet so i'm going to give you guys a little walkthrough of the airbnb before we check out okay you guys so when you come through the front door they had some chairs here, which you guys saw already us sitting in, or me sitting in. I think we sat in them when we were eating dinner one night, and I sat in them, like, a lot. So I've been hanging out out there. And then you come to the left, and we've got their little kitchen area, which is the perfect size. Literally, Dominic and I are thinking we would love to live in, like, a place like this where the layout is like this because it's completely open floor. So if we could, like, we could picture, just picture, you guys. Picture our couch right here, like cutting the room off a little bit, but then like Dominic could cook in here. I could see him. It would be amazing. It's so much better that way because then we can have conversation while he's cooking or while I'm cooking even. And then you come over here. Sunday, what are you doing? What are you eating? <laughs> and you've got like a little dog bed over here, which we were imagining our cat tower. We do this in every place we stay. We try to picture if we could live in it. And I feel we could live in it, something like this. But we've got this little nook, which is cute. And then out the window, it's super duper pretty. And then you come this way and we've got the whole living room area, which is a pretty big, decent size, I feel. And then the TV, they had direct TV, which was amazing. And you come through this way and we've got the bathroom. So this is what the bathroom looks like. There's baby Sunday, we all so it's a cute. Hi, baby. Uh, this is the like little blinds that they have, which I think is so pretty. And then the view from the bathroom is super pretty too. The view from this whole entire floor is like so gorgeous. And then, it's just your basic bathroom. This is the sink, the toilet is tucked away, and this is the bathtub. When you come out of the bathroom, this is what you see. So like, it's very large. Hopefully it's coming across for you guys how big it is. I feel like it's very big. And then you come this way and they've got another little chair set up. I feel like many people could be here too. Like, look at all these chairs. One, two, three, 
four, five, six seating places, not to mention this area. This is a great party house. Not that we do that very often, but great place to like have people over, I feel. And then come through this and we've got a little desk that we can sit at if we want. And then you come in here and we've got this bed, which this bed is unreal, you guys. It is so, so comfortable. I'm obsessed with it. And then we have this little nook over here, which I love. You can sit in and just like read your book or whatever you want, open the window. Like how pretty is that? gorgeous views all the way around and then they have a nice little like salt lamp here which I love and then a little dresser a little mirror and right here is where the sun rises every morning I actually got up early this morning with Dominic and I took a video of the sunrise for you guys I'll either show it to you now or maybe I showed it to you guys already I probably did <laughs> but the view is just like so beautiful from this window so that is the situation very very comfortable oh let me actually show you this um as well let's see here this is the closet area and it's pretty large too like there's just like a lot going on up in this joint the only thing i don't like is this top thing because you guys know from if you've been here a long time this stuff scares me like i always worry that somebody's up there and they're gonna like come down in the night it just terrifies me but i surprisingly felt very safe here <laughs> and then right here is this door i think leads out to their house because sometimes we can hear it but that's okay um and then this one right here, I think, is another closet. So, that's it. That is the whole entire apartment. Actually, let me show you one more thing. The star of the show, which is the view from the patio. So, you come out here, and the view from the patio is so pretty. <laughs> it's seriously so beautiful. And you can see so many stars at nighttime too. So that was our Airbnb. It was honestly so relaxing and much needed. We have been looking forward to this vacation forever. We always look forward to our fall vacation. I'm just happy we got to see some fall foliage because even at our Airbnb, it looks completely different now than it did when we pulled in four days ago. So like the colors are changing. But I am going to end this vlog here and I love you guys so much. Hopefully you like this. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next one.